everybody welcome back to my channel it's pixie again and if you're new here welcome my name is pixie good morning good afternoon good evening whatever you have to be doing right now i hope you're doing it fabulously and safely and safely because this world is crazy right now and we don't know what's going to happen so this is awkward oh gosh this is going to be another awkward video and if you're new here all i do is awkward so let's get started cheers I don't know if this is going to be a really, really, really long video or if it's going to be straight to the point, but the topic of this video, as you can see in the title, is places to shop that are not the shop that shall not be named. So I started my endeavor of alternate fashion when I was about 12 or 13, and there were no goths or alternative people in my area. I grew up in a very small town at the time. It has blown up since then in Central Florida. So if you explored the world of alternative fashion, I don't even know what I called it back then. I was just me because I was a baby bat before baby bat was a thing in the 90s in middle school. I learned how to sew. I was the first person who thrifted. I went to Europe at 14 and found out about goth subculture before there was like other subcultures. There was like rave, goth, and punk, and that was about it. But growing up in that small town, you had to figure it out on your own. There were no guidelines, there were no Instagram posts, there was no Pinterest, there was no Tumblr, there was like Live Journal, and it was the very beginning like baby live journal if you will myspace wasn't a thing yet so you just yahooed stuff it wasn't even google yet that's how old i am i am totally stating my age in this video in case you didn't already know if you are new here or if this is like your third video because thank you new subscribers for joining me i don't know what brought you here but welcome and i'm glad you're here because all my videos no matter what topic i'm on i talk a lot so i'm not gonna try to make this 55 minutes long and i might cut some things out like rambles like this if i go off on a tangent and where i was going was with this was there was no social media i started out on aol and there were no controversial websites to buy boots from. It was Europe and you had a lot of money or you DIY'd stuff or you just found this one gem of a website if it exists anymore. I mean, we had GeoCities and Angel Fire. If you, do, if you know what those are, please let me know down below because this is gonna be a hilarious video just stating my age the whole time. But you were kind of on your own and growing up in a small town, I was the first person to thrift. I was the first person to be into like platform shoes. Like, yes, we idolized Spice Girls, but not many people actually went out and found the platforms. We had Baker's shoes. Hot Topic was not a thing in my town or even our closest mall. Hot Topic was like two hours away, an hour away. And when we finally got a Hot Topic, I was like, oh, glorious Hot Topic. So tonight's video is about websites where you don't have to go to the one where if you type goth alternative and it's the first ad on Google because there's been a lot of controversy about the website and you know which one I'm talking about and I'm just not going to say the name but I just wanted to be here and tell you how to build your wardrobe and find your dream shoes, your dream corset, your dream pants, your dream socks without supporting them. So I tried to tier these. I have no list. I do not script my videos, but I make bullet points and I have a whole freaking list. Uh, we're just gonna go with the basics first. Like I said, we're just gonna get right into it because this is not gonna be two hours long, Sarah. Not gonna be two hours long, not gonna be two hours long. The basics are Amazon.com, Etsy, eBay, thrifting in general, but some people do not have the option to go thrifting if they are from a small town like me. Thrifting was kind of like there might be one in mom and pop shop. You might not be able to even go to Goodwill right now with what's going on in the world, but not everybody has the option. And then some people say that my Goodwill just never gets good stuff. So therein lies the thrifting 
but then they, there's also Depop and Poshmark, places like that. The go-to, of course, as I already said, is Hot Topic. So right there, you have a whole book like a little mini page of places you can go besides this website. So we're just not gonna mention that website anymore without mentioning it. And we're just gonna say, let's see all the websites I have found in doing research and the ones I've actually personally purchased from before that I was very happy with. Let's do this. So I've already listed off the basics. Amazon is good for obviously basic pieces and you can every now and then find alternative pieces like a lot of my show stories are from Amazon I have a lot of demonia shoes from Amazon I have courses from Amazon I have so many things from Amazon and you're just supporting those individual sellers on said Amazon say Amazon one more time let's drink for that you also have websites like Killstar. I've heard negative and positive reviews on them, so I'm not gonna go into them a lot. I've never ordered from Killstar, but I heard they are good. They are too, like, there's a lot of black clothing in there for me, and I'm very colorful, but I like black, so I'm like on the fence about Killstar. I wanna go in and see, like, so I've never ordered from Killstar, but I've seen a lot of reviews on them, and they are great, except sometimes their customer service is like, eh. But since I don't know a lot about them, I'm not gonna go into them. A website I found when I typed in gothic clothing on Google, I found tragicbeautiful.com and they tend to have a lot of Club X, which is another he who shall not be named website supporter. A lot of Club X stuff is on that website, so if you need Club X, Tragic Beautiful, I will list all these down below in the description, by the way, if I'm moving too fast and I don't know how to do that scrolly thing or pictures of the websites yet on my editing program, so bear with me. But they will all be down there, you know where to look, and happy shopping, by the way. Um, another website I googled and researched because I was trying to think of brands that you could supposedly only get from said website was thecoolhour.com. They do a lot of Club X clothing, but I have not seen the boots, but they have a lot of the alternate boots and stuff. Um, the tragicbeautiful.com and the cool hour seem a little pricey, but if you have the money, those are some sites looking into. Again, I haven't done much research on those stores. Those are just like what I did find in find in my own well let's make notes about this store um moving on those are the stores i've never ordered from including hex-libris.com it looks like another gothic website but their stuff is pretty pricey as well again never ordered from them haven't looked at reviews but it's just worth a look you never know if that's up your alley and when it comes to, I mean, I shop everywhere. I literally find most of my stuff on eBay, Amazon, thrift stores, but when it comes to like exploring or if there's a specific pair of shoes I want, I search all my options. I will look up the actual name of the shoes that I'm looking for and just price search. So I've run into a lot of websites that have the same shoes, but then I start looking at the rest of the stuff on the website, so let's go into those. And yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be a long video. So I hope you have your tea, not the bad tea, because we don't like drama here, some wine, a snack, or pause it, go do something, and come back. If you need to take breaks, I'll be here. Um, because I am a former candy kid, I love iHeartRaves.com. They have body suits, masks, leg warmers, accessories, light up dealies. And if you sign up for their emails, I have definitely ordered from them before. If you sign up for their emails, you'll get coupons or they'll let you know what's new in the store. And goodgoth.com is one of my favorites. I find most of my boots at goodgoth.com check them out and if you sign up for the email again you'll either get a first code and then you can do um, if you get honey.com like the honey app for your browser on your computer it'll search for coupons for you uh, good goth has mystery bags they have corsets they have shoes they have demonia they have pleaser they have costumes they have steampunk i love good goth and their prices are very reasonable the only thing i have to say about good goth is if you order shoes from them the last i checked because I had to deal with a return, is their shoes are third party. They order directly from Pleaser slash Demonia, their warehouse. So if your shoes come damaged, hold on, my light, a little bit, okay. If your shoes come damaged, you get a store credit. And I usually, I used to just spend that store credit on mystery bags, but just know that if it comes damaged, they 
claim no responsibility for it. You can ship them back, but they won't just give you a new pair of shoes or it won't go back into your bank account unless they've changed it. The next store I love that is not particular alternative, but they have very unique styles of clothing and shoes. I wouldn't call it gothic. It reminds me mostly of Alloy and Delia's, if you remember any of those catalogs back in the day, the very early 90s-esque. They have club wear, they have unique shoes. They're not gonna be like your big stompy Demonia platform boots, but they are unique styles. I have about three pairs from Go Jane and I love their bathing suits and their prices are super reasonable and they usually have free shipping over orders a certain amount. And check out Go Jane for sure because it's not exactly going to be alternative but every now and then you'll get like that little gem that could be turned gothic, punk, raver, rainbow, whatever your aesthetic is. Um, they just have a broad selection at decent prices so definitely check out Go Jane. The next website I wanted to talk about was JJ's House. And when you go to JJ's House, you're gonna be like, you sent me to a prom wedding website. But if you like petticoats, these are the best prices for petticoats I have found. My petticoats come either from Amazon or JJ's House. And JJ's House is the same quality, but their shipping is so fast and you get an email like that when you order from them. And that's where my wedding petticoat is and it's a beautiful petticoat. But they sell short petticoats, they sell high-low petticoats, and you can check out their sale rack because if you find a formal dress in their sale rack, you could turn that goth. I get really creative because like I said, I grew up in a small town and I had to get really creative with the stuff I was wearing. Uh, JJ's house is really worth a look if you just want simple accessories or the dyeable shoes I believe they have on there, like simple heels, but they have that satin so you can dye them if you want. Ugh, it's just... JJ's house is a beautiful site and yes I did find it for searching for stuff for my wedding three years ago but if you keep an open mind it doesn't have to be an alternative store to find things that you like or that you can make work in your wardrobe. The last I checked JJ's house had a knee length crinoline petticoat and it was beautiful for $18 and I'm like with all those layers of fabric that is pretty fantastic. It's beautiful and they had orange and black and red and like various colors definitely give them a look out like a look if you are bored a look out okay. um, the next what site website I want to talk about is very briefly is well I might just start rambling so when I say very briefly bear with me for about three more minutes is affliction clothing they are pricey and my husband lives in affliction t-shirts but they are very ethical in their branding they do these different lines and they go up to like 6X in men's and they do have a woman's line. I have a couple of Fiction shirts myself. Thank you husband for introducing me to this brand and when I researched them I was super impressed. They have proceeds to military funding so if you are all about like if you are an army brat or if you have a loved one in the military. Um, some of their lines go to PTSD victims, you know, their charities. And I think that's just a beautiful thing. And my husband loves their shirts. I love the shirts I have. I love it when my husband's like, I went to Affliction today. And I'm like, yay. If you look up Affliction Clothing and their website and you can just see affiliates and charities, it's just a beautiful site. And if you like the biker metalhead-esque, especially for you or your partner, the shirts are just gorgeous. I love buying my husband Affliction stuff because he already loves the brand so much. I know that the proceeds go to a great cause or great causes. There's at least three or four right now going on on their website. And they'll email you again with, um, they have masks now too. And before they ran out, they sent everybody a, like a worldwide email like, hey, we're giving out free masks. If you order $35, you get a free mask. But they ran out before I could get it. But it's nice to know that they're actually like, they have an awareness going on, so they're kind of sustainable and ethical. I really appreciate that. Even if you're not a family military, I get it. Like, to each their own, but it's nice to know that they're contributing to something. Because their stuff is pretty pricey, but it's nice to know that proceeds go to something. Like, they stand for something, basically. And their shirts have, like, the fleur de lis and the skulls and, like, live fast, die hard. You know, that kind of biker metal, raw kind of mentality. So, Affliction is a pretty good site. 
Um, I'm just kind of going in order on the list and kind of like ticking them off in case I forget anything. I'll probably just add more links down below or do a part two because we're already at 14 and a half minutes. So the next one I want to talk about is box lunch. And I would say that box lunch is like a more nerdy hot topic. And I actually think, thank you again, husband. I went from affliction, I was introduced to by my husband, to box lunch. Box lunch is like nerdy anime, geeky, kitschy. Um, there's some Toki Doki stuff there, and you have the uh, Unicorno, and you have Disney stuff at box lunch. And everything you buy, proceeds go to lunches for kids in public schools. So I appreciate that too. Uh, check out Box Lunch, and if you sign up for their emails again, I'll, by the way, I am not associated with any of these sites. These are just sites and stores I enjoy personally, and I'm um, just getting the word out that you don't have to shop at other places that are mean people. Um, they, if you sign up for the email, you'll get discounts and they'll let you know when sales are going on, and Box Lunch is just a great idea all the way around because you're feeding the children, so it's awesome. And uh, alternative apparel I've never ordered from before, but I'm doing my research. They are a very sustainable and ethical, like basic clothing shop. So if you want tank tops, I do plan on ordering from them in the future. And they're decently priced and everything, like I said, is sustainable and ethical and they recycle fabrics. And most of it's like relaxed fit. So if you want like a good set of pajamas or a good like wear around the house t-shirt, like I think that that's where I'm gonna order from for like basic stuff. And Kind of going in alphabetical order or backwards because I went from box lunch to alternative apparel and now we're going to Angry Young Poor. Angry Young Poor was the first punk goth alternative website I found when I was like 12 years old and I was like begging my mom, please let me order from Angry Young Poor and all I could afford was like pins and patches, but I was like, they're still alive. They've been around since 1995 and they now have grown to this huge website where they have vinyl dresses and demonia shoes and Doc Martens and you can buy laces for your Doc Martens which are hard to come by. If your laces have ever run out in a Doc Martin, you, it's hard to find a length of a shoelace for 20 i Doc Martens and Angry Young Poor has like everything and they started as a little tiny shop and now they've blown up and people just seem to forget about Angry Young Poor and I know they're on Instagram because Heather slash Raven reminded me she's like oh I follow them on my Instagram thank you for reminding me of Angry Young Poor and I was like thank you for telling me there's an Instagram like it's awesome that they've still been around since I was 10 years old there I go, stay my age again, because I was born in 1985, and Angry Young Poor has been around since 1995, and they are one of the original brick and mortar, punk rock, 90s, studs and spikes and leather and pleather websites, and they're still around, and I'm like, I can't believe I forgot about this store. So the next one is Dracula Clothing. I have never ordered from them, but I've always envied their site. And I'm like, if I had the money. So it's one of those more expensive ones, but they don't do anything scandalous. They're just a standard Gothic website. That's it. That's all they do is Gothic clothing. It's great. Nobody's ever blasted them on YouTube or Instagram or said, don't buy from here. So it's just another website you can either look at for inspiration or if you can afford it, go for it. So again, the link will be down below. Rebels Market, I've never ordered from either, but a lot of people, I've watched a lot of reviews on YouTube that they like Rebel Market, and it's just another one of those staples that will take you away from the bad sites. <laughs> so we're gonna go into shoes really quick, and this is a really fun part, because you know I love my shoes, if you're not new here, I love my shoes. Um, Electric Boutique is kind of uh, dancer-esque shoes, but you can also find Halloween-themed shoes stilettos, gothic shoes. Um, it's really nice for these next like set of websites I'm going on on the list. I don't know what this is, but we're doing it. Um, it's nice to be able to compare prices, so if you can't find this shoe in your size on this website, or if you find the same pair, you can go to this website, compare the prices, so you make sure that it's your size. And, you know, I like to shop around. Um, I want to make sure I'm getting the best deal and there's the best reviews and I'm not supporting an evil conglomerate corporation over here just to get these shoes. And if I can find something similar that might not be the same thing. Anyways, Electric Boutique has that and the website is huge. Last time I checked, it was just so many shoes to go through. You have to like look specifically for something 
that you have in mind. If you browse, you're going to be there for like five days straight with no sleep. <laughs> um, we're going to take a wine break for that because now I'm getting excited. The next shoe website is Pleaser. And if you are a goth, alt, whatever, stripper, dancer, if you're any of those balled up to one, you already know what Pleaser is. Pleaser also includes Demonia, pinup shoes, and Phantasma, and then there's Betty Page shoes, I believe, all in one website. So if you find a website that brings negative energy into your life, when in doubt, go check the Pleaser website because guaranteed you can buy directly from them in your size and in different styles, thousands and thousands and thousands of different styles in the shoe you want without supporting evil people. And that brings me to Ellie. And Ellie shoes do not get enough credit at all. Ellie is like, here's Pleaser and here's Ellie. And I think that they're about like this, but it's just because Ellie doesn't get enough recognition because I just got these shoes that are amazing. So this is like a momentary unboxing moment. These shoes were $30. $30. Okay, and the packaging is beautiful. There's Ellie tissue paper. These shoes just don't get enough credit. The shoe brand, they are ethical, they are affordable, and they are rainbow. Yes, I found these ribbed snakeskin crocodile five inch platform knee high boots from Ellie for $29.41. These do not get enough credit. These, this shoe brand, and they have the flames on the bottom. I have Ellie heels. I have fluffy blue Ellie knee high shoes that you could see in my shoe collection video. I'll leave it somewhere over here. Ellie is affordable, ethical, beautiful shoes. Can we just take a moment again? <laughs> they are so pretty and they are $30. They had these in black as well and silver. And these are a true nine, and I will do a show and tell eventually in a lookbook. But ellieshoes.com, check them out. They do not get enough credit. I've never seen them on like a gothic website. I've only seen them on either a costume website or ellieshoes.com or Amazon. And I just happened to find them. And whew, they're amazing. Funkypair.com is another shoe company and or shoe website that provides a lot of different brands and different styles of shoes, costume, dancer, gothic, fetish, punk, and another website that you just have to like look and look and look and they have other stuff like accessories and it's just, yes, funkypair.com is great. Uh, Sinful Shoes is the same, but they are more on the goth fetish side, side of things and those are like one, two, three, four, five websites I would compare prices. If you find one you like, it is out of your price range or shipping too, is too much, I would compare those in a block. And I keep doing this, I need to stop. Um, <laughs> for accessories, and you need a little bit more inspiration, or if you just open your mind, you know, and you just or keep an open mind, I would say check out Party City and SpiritHalloween.com, like both websites, because you could find a cheap bustier, you can find cheap fishnets, some tights, some leggings, uh, some shoes even every now and then, or you can buy one of those packaged costumes that comes with accessories and take the accessories and wear them a different way because I used to do that a lot when I was very limited on my resources before this closet looked like this. I mean, you really had to get creative and learn how to sew and stuff, and I'll get to that later. That's like a bonus. Um, Party City and Spirit Halloween are open 24-7. So even if you're like, it's not Halloween and you need a costume piece or you want to look for some leg warmers or some arm warmers or some new fishnets and you want them on the cheap, check out the Halloween websites because they are 24 seven online. They might not be open 24 seven out there. Like spirit just hops around and like takes stuff for rent and opens their Halloween store and then they close by fucking Thanksgiving. <laughs> but 
if you just look at Halloween stores online or any costume website, you know, you can find fishnets for $3 if you can wait for the shipping. Because, you know us alt people, we run out of fishnets like we run out of water. Like, we're thirsty and our fishnets are torn. Let's go buy some more $3 fishnets from the Halloween section. You don't have to wait for Halloween to do it anymore. That's the beauty of the Millennium. You can go to a Halloween store online. Uh, corset story, buyer beware. They do sell nothing but corsets and accessories for corsets, but I have actually seen some corsets I bought on Amazon jacked up like three times. I've never ordered from Corset Story, but if you are stuck and you want that very specific corset, I've read great reviews on it. But their corsets start at like $100, and I'm like, but I have that one on, from Amazon for like $30, because it's the same one. But if you're stuck, like I said, there's are higher quality, but some of them are cheap, but they just jack up the price. So I won't even talk about corset store anymore. It was just one of the websites I found. And I, when I was doing my research, I was like, I have that corset. I definitely didn't pay $38 for it. But if you're a corset wearer, they do have steel boned and higher quality. And they have the lower quality and the middle quality. So if you're a corset person, I figured it was worth mentioning. Uh, Yandy.com, that's a Y-A-N-D-Y. Uh, I have ordered from them before. I think I got one of my pimp costumes from there, but they also do, along with costumes and shoes, they also do lingerie. So they have bras and they have like sexy stuff if you want that. And it's very low costing. And you can pretty much find any prepackaged costume on there, I've found. But they do do, um, they do do corsets and such as well and fetish shoes so that's another place to shop for the shoes if you can't find a decent price for the shoes that you want or if another website is out of stock it's worth a look costumes for the number four less.com again like party city and spirit it's not just costumes you can find shoes there lingerie hosiery toys tails ears accessories i love personally adding costume pieces to my everyday outfits, especially for Disney. So places like Yandy, Costumes for Less, Spirit, and Party City are just great options. If you just want something a little bit different without making it too Halloween-y, like I'm not saying like go buy a packaged costume and wear it every day, but if you just buy the accessories or look at the shoes or the hosiery, these are great options as well and they keep them on the cheap. A friend of mine, Tiffany, like we're blowing through these because I am already at 30 minutes. Uh, I don't blame you if you pause or hit watch later or if you leave and you've gotten enough, but just remember the websites are in the description down below because I love you guys and I'm trying to make this as easy as possible, but I want to talk about the websites. Uh, Tiffany, Iffy Pirate, I love you, shout out. Uh, she told me that she wanted Why Are You shoes and I've seen a lot of my fellow YouTubers buy Why Are You and I've yet to be able to afford a pair, but they are beautiful shoes. I would suggest going directly to the Why Are You website instead of other sites, if you know what I mean. Um, and she said they're great, they're comfortable. I think Brandy, Punky Danny, and I'm forgetting somebody, but I know a lot of you have tried Why Are You and you have a couple pairs yourself and I love the reviews and I cannot wait to get my hands on a pair of my own. So I figured that was worth mentioning. Um, CoquetryClothing.com. I found Coquetry when it was still just on Etsy and actually my marriage license dress is made by Coquetry. It is a UV reactive unicorn galaxy dress. And I love the fact that my wedding license photos are in this dress. And now they have a full fledged website and they can do custom items for you, or you can buy what's on their website and link will down below. And I wish I was sponsored because they're super talented. They're super amazing. This material is so amazing. It's UV reactive. It is so soft, it's so cool in the Florida heat. Even after my marriage license getting with my husband, I still wear this on a regular basis to Disney and I do not sweat in it. I don't know if it's a dry fit or any of that wicky, ooh, excuse me, wicking material, but it's just, oh, I love it. Just look at that. 
And they do the raver fashion, the festival fashion. They do some gothic things. They have these beautiful pointed hoods that I'm keeping my eye on and I'm just drooling over for Renaissance Fair. And they just have these metallic fabrics and velvet. And I think they had velvet last collection. I'll have to go back on the Coquetry website, but it was definitely worth looking at with those beautiful pointed elf hoods and the pointed sleeves, and it was so flowy. I loved it. <sighs> now you know it's on my wish list. Um, the next website I had already heard of but never ordered from was theblackangel.com, but now they have a sustainable line called the Cult of Lux, and they are fair trade, organic, and they make masks and they're environmentally friendly, environment friendly. And the masks are so freaking goth cute. I mean, I think there was like a Ouija one and they just have these different gothic prints. I think there was one with all cats and I'm like, I need to order because masks are the trend now because they're a norm. I have got to order from the Cult of Lux. I love the fact that they're organic. They are recycled fabric. They're environmentally friendly because I just looked up sustainable goth and that's what I Googled and that's what I got. And I was like, I need to order from this site. So look forward to a further review because I do see an order in my future. Um, but yeah, that's, that store was cool. Definitely check them out for sure. Um, let's see. Heather slash Raven, I also asked her because she's into Vaporwave, which is like a 90s aesthetic crossed with rave festival. And I asked her if there were any stores she would like for me to mention for Vaporwave. And Vaporwave is so hard for me to explain. I need Heather to do like some commentary for me. And I will link her Instagram down below because she is a beautiful person. She's a very talented graphic designer and she just sends me all of these Instagrams of Vaporwave and I'm like, I want to be into this too. And it just kind of matches my hair and my aesthetic and she's like, this is so up your alley. So the Vaporwave area of, and we're almost there. I promise we are almost there to the end. Promise, pinky swear. Um, Vaporwave, the websites, it's only about four. I have strikegently.co. They sell their own enamel pins. They sell blankets and patches. There's this blanket, it's like an afghan I have my eye on and it has the old rainbow like TV lines. It's pretty pricey, but it's sustainable. I did as much research as I could on these sites. They are basically Instagram gone website. So they're very sustainable, they're very independent and their quantities are limited. And I do believe strikegently.co has masks as well. I'll have to look back on their website if you're curious. Um, the second one is popkiller.us. They sell masks, sus masks, <laughs> sustainable t-shirts. They have kids clothing, they have hats and beanies. And I'm like, if I were a hat person, aside from like my steampunk hat, I was like, if I were a hat person, I would definitely be buying here because the colors are so bright and vibrant and you have a little bit of like the muted pastels like from the 90s and 80s. And I'm like, I'm totally feeling this vibe. I may not even know the exact definition of vaporwave, but this is a really cool aesthetic. So they're worth checking out, especially since they're sustainable and they're a small shop. Um, Heather has actually ordered me a tote bag, which I forgot to like bring with me into this room. And it's called, uh, the website is ihascupquake.com, which I think they're kind of blowing up now. I think I've seen them on a couple of YouTube channels, but Heather reminded me of them. And I was like, oh yeah, you did send me a tote bag and it's super cute. It's a pixelated tan tote bag and it has the hearts and then it has like the life heart, like a video game, you know, like your life and it's super cute they have they also have masks which are adorable of course i was going to say super cute again so let's just drink it for a time and say super cute half of you already xed out this video so we're fine right 33 minutes they also have apparel and they have bags and they have pins they have enamel pins and we all love us a good pin for our jacket um and then there's Vapor 95, which is the same idea. They have tops, bottoms, masks, hats, pins, and more. And they are the same kind of aesthetic vibe with the pastel colors and the neons and that 80s, 90s sitcom and food court, you know, that kind of emblem aesthetic feel vibe. So, um, 
the last three websites I am going to mention, which have nothing to do with fashion, but they have to do with cosmetics, are shopmissa.com. That is one of my favorite websites to go to for my cruelty-free primer, concealer, mascara, and occasional eyeshadow, and whatever they happen to have on sale because they rotate their pro product and stock so fast you have to jump on it. If you get that email for their $35 or less shipping, jump on it and just fill your cart with goodies and just enjoy it because everything's a dollar, everything's cruelty free, and the things that are not a dollar are either bundles or they go to proceeds for homeless animals. So you know that Shop SA is amazing and I've done a couple videos way back when if you want to go check those out which way is up. I've done many Shop SA reviews and full face so there you go. And the real OG for cosmetics back in the day, and still is, is manicpanic.com. Instead of ordering from a certain website for your hair dye, I see if you can't make it to Sally's and you can't do this and you can't do that, just go directly to manicpanic.com and look at their products because sometimes other websites just charge way too much for their classic hair dye. And ELF, of course, is one of my favorite cruelty-free websites. They have started producing palettes. There is a rainbow palette I did a review on, and I just adore it. And they are all cruelty-free and very reasonably placed, priced as well. And the very last bonus website I have for you is how it all started for me. And the website is still up, and they still have their DIY. So this is not about shopping. This is the bonus. If you do not sew, or know how to alter your clothing, Antimony and Lace, which is gothfashion.info, is your best place to start because their tutorials are still up after 22 years. <laughs> and it's how I learned to sew alternative clothing. And it's a great beginner's guide. They have how to make your own cape. They ha have the basic how to cut the crotch out of your tights and make it into a shirt. They have different skirt tutorials, uh, how to make a netting skirt. Definitely check it her out. Check, check it her out. Check her out. Um, she's just an awesome, awesome OG goth, old school goth, uh, baby bat. She started her website to help people out getting into the goth scene and how to DIY. So when in doubt, if you can't afford to shop online, you can learn how to hand sew, you can learn how to stud, you can learn how to thrift and cut things off and add lace to things. So if you are having problems building your wardrobe and you feel overwhelmed by the fact that everything's so expensive, how do people do this on Instagram? Just keep an open mind, go to Halloween stores, go thrifting, go on eBay, go on Etsy, and of course, check out all the websites I mentioned because I love even just browsing them and getting ideas for new outfits. Like I have something similar to that in my closet already, but I didn't think about pairing it with that. So you can just look at these websites and see what you want, make a wish list, etc. I hope you enjoyed this long, long, long video and list of places I would like to shop and things you can do for inspiration and places that you can shop that are sustainable and or don't cause drama in the world and are not negative or mean. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I love you guys so, so much. And if you have not yet and you would like to, feel free to subscribe, hit the little bell down below. I do not always ramble this long, I promise. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Pixie out.